welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another 2024 i7. This is the XDrive 60 version. And it's in a new color, at least for the 7 series. It's Space Silver, or Space Silver. I'm not sure what the German word is for space. But it also appears on the X1. And it sort of harkens back to the, maybe it was titanium silver on the old E38 7 series. Not quite the same color, but sort of in that same vein. And this one is fairly well equipped, but you'll notice there's something different. So with the i7, it's the only 7 series you can get without the M Sport package. So the gas powered 7 series are default M Sport package. And this one does not have it. So we can see some cues of what's on the car. So we got the crystal headlights up there, which means executive package that actually disappeared at some point in 2023 got the parking assistance camera up there so that means at least the premium package so again it's not separate package anymore which is a good idea but really on a car this size it should be by default you get that uh, parking assistance features so the sensors are there for the driving assistance pro stuff all in the center portion of the grill i think blends pretty well with the rest of the actual grill See lots of silver accents as well. I think it goes well, or some chrome accents goes well with the space silver. Over on the side, we have the style 910. They are BMW individual wheels. You can see individual marking right there. So it's 21 inch wheel, which means range. It's still over 300 no matter what you get. So about, I think it's 307 miles of estimated range on this gigantic land yacht and you can see we also have evidence of the automatic doors it's on the lower portion you can see those sensors at the bottom of the doors and again automatic doors did disappear for a little bit of time for model year 23 but back for model year 24 you can see sort of an exaggerated hoffmeister kink which is part of the pillar as well as the door your hoffmeister there all right, so moving out back, lots of chrome accents on this non-M Sport version of the i7. Here's that three-quarter view. And I think you know, the three-quarter rear looks pretty decent. And the side view, basically a monolithic design which sort of carries over to the new G65 series. Should note, you know, we don't have the M Sport package, which means no caliper colors. So your default sort of silverish uh, calipers. All right, so let's go on the inside, go over pricing and options on this very expensive seven series. See, standard panoramic moonroof. All right, we'll use our automatic door. You press this button. The door opens automatically, though maybe it sends me a little bit there. All right, so opening up, we have the black full merino leather. It is an option, I think extended, you can probably get away with at basically no cost. So full leather is going to add a substantial amount of cost to your vehicle. Here's our seat, which I think looks really nice. It's also very comfortable. Good bolstering and ventilated as well. And again, notice your controls no longer exist here on the bottom of the seat. They're all on the door handle, which is very rudimentary. So you have to go into the seat menu, which you can find by pressing well, it's hard to see right now, but this interaction, it's this sort of hamburger menu thing, that will bring up all your seat options for a little bit more precise control. Again, with automatic doors, put your foot on the brake pedal, door closes automatically. Go ahead and turn this on. So in front of me, the standard steering wheel, which I think looks pretty good. Uh, just notice it's only a two-spoke steering, which is also a little bit unusual. Left hand side, you got your driving assistance buttons. So basically cruise control, but all the other stuff 
for precise control is buried within the menu. In front of me, iDrive 8.5 instrument panel, and we have the augmented reality in front of us. And you got your heads up display. Now, curved display for iDrive 8.5. And we got the mirror oak high gloss uh, finished trim. So, of note, I did notice there's a new feature that had been missing before. If we go into the apps, we'll go into vehicle and then doors and windows. Go to comfort access. I'll have to test this out here and create a home address based on where the dealership is and see if this works. But now you can exclude home from locking and unlocking with your key as you, or even your, in this case, your phone walking by the car. So I think that's a welcome change and it should have been there from the start. But I don't know why it wasn't there from the start, but at least now it's been the purchase. But I haven't seen this on other versions of 8.5, which is really curious. All right, so let's look at the pricing here. So starting price of the i7 xDrive 60 is 124200 bucks. so again, a lot to take in. Paint and leather are included. It's The full leather is not included. It's part of the individual composition below. Driving Assistance Pro for another 2000 Being the individual composition for 5450 which does include the Alcantara headliner coordinated with the upholstery, so black basically. Premium package for 1750 Exec package for another 3700 All these other things are included. And we got the Bowers Wrinkle sound system for 4800 And finally, this is sort of labeled correctly. Oh, not labeled correctly. Charging unit, which is really just a bag for 245 All told, MSRP of this particular example, 143140 bucks. So really well equipped, and you do save a bit of money uh, by not going with the M Sport package on the i7. We'll try something out here to do with voice bands. Hey, BMW, open the roof blind. All right, so you can see with the voice commands, you can get that roof blind open. So, fairly easy to use rather than using the iDrive and getting in there. All right, so top in the back seat as well. Go ahead and press this button to open the door. And your very generous back seat proportions. And here's the view from the back seat with our basically sky lounge essentially open. This means the shade open. And then the head restraints also include that trim as well. So it's a really good feature. And knee room legroom, really, really good. And of course, headroom, no issue whatsoever in the back of the 7 Series. Of course, you can go nuts and add that theater screen, rear executive seating lounge, and maybe even. Maybe even go with individual paint. I have seen speed yellow and black combination. I think I'd be fired if I ordered one of those, but that'd be pretty cool to see. All right, so close the door. We'll move to the back here. Use our kick to open feature. So line yourself up, nice quick kick. Then the trunk is really large. You do have a little pass through back there as well. And here's the charging bag again. It does say XM on it. So you can pretend you bought an XM with this bag. And you can get that on any electric vehicle. And out of the box, it comes with everything you need to charge the vehicle. So you do get a flexible fast charger 2.0 with a NEMA 1450 connector. So if you need to get a charger installed, or at least an outlet installed, you can use a BMW's Q Merit partnership, so qmerit.com slash EV slash BMW. And with the i7, you get three years of free charging via Electrify America. There are no limits on the session time. So if you get the fastest possible charger, I believe the i7 takes a 195 kilowatt charger. You can get the charging from 10 to 80 percent in about 31 to 34 minutes. So super fast charging. But that's it for a quick look at another i7, this time in a new color in space silver. We'll see you in the next video.